Good day everyone, this is Jessica Marie M. Lardizal from BS Electronics Engineering 3A and this is ECE 36 task number 1. So I have my group and but in this task I I perform alone and now what we need in this task that we need the title including the video and we're going to show the schematic diagram of this task, the list of required materials, the construction procedures, well I'm going to see the video or I will going to play the video for you the programming code and the function demonstration of the output so yeah that's it so without further ado let's start so this is my this is my what I this is the easy task number one that I have done and this is the schematic diagram here as you can see next the material that I use is in the following first is the 10 pieces lead or leds 10 pieces 330 ohms resistors 1 fourth, 1 fourth watts 2 pieces 10k resistors 1 fourth watts 2 pieces 2 pin tuck switch connecting wires breadboard arduino uno and also the power supply so my output i will show you this is my output and now in the programming codes this is my programming code there you are as you can see I have my programming code there from the top I use the code C led C for my name and and you can you will see my output in the video of after this one as you can see, if the C button in a tool, tax to reach number 2 or pattern B, that is what low, high, low, high, and that's all. Then, I will play the video. So, So in this video, as you can see there, as you can see video, I've arranged LED, the LEDs, there are in total of 10 pieces here. There you go. Then I arrange also the 330 resistors. Then I put the connection into the ground. I'm going to put it the faster one. There you go. After that, I connect the tax switch. I on the tax switch here you cannot see it there you go but you can see it in the video too
After I've connected it to the ground and to the 5 volt voltage source supplies, I turn on. Connect it to the power bank, which is my power supply. Sir, I fix the my ELC or resistor that not been working just fine because they're not in a good condition because I don't know maybe it's in the breadboard as you can see there now as you can see it's working now That's it. Okay. So, that's all for this video. Thank you so much. And this is my ECE 36. Again, this is the ECA 36 Task 1 performed by Trusca Murray MRTs of BS Electronics Engineering 3A. Thank you.